Hi, I'm Thomas with Solar Reviews, and today we have Bouge RV's 200 watt Yuma solar panel with SIGS technology. It's their super lightweight and flexible solar panel. It has adhesive on the insides, which we'll show you a close up of, so that way it has a lot of utility. It's made to go on the top of an RV, a camper, anything like that, but it's just as easy to roll up, store, and put out when you need it. So let's skip the talk and get right to testing this thing. All right, so rolled up like this might be super easy to store, but it's not gonna get you the most sunlight. So let me show you how easy it is to lay this thing out and set it up. All you do is make sure you have your side with the cables on it, grab that, and then you just kinda wanna walk it backwards and it lays itself out flat, just like that. Then all you do is you take that port, you plug it right into your generator that you're trying to power up. You'll see it instantly turns on and after a couple seconds, you'll start getting a reading that means the Bouge RV panel is working. You take your XT60 cable, which does not come with the device, and you plug it right into your solar generator. And certain solar panels will take these Y branch parallel adapter cables. This is your positive one, and this is your negative one. It's actually marked with little stickers on there, so it's easy to remember. And it comes with a connector, so you could switch it in between different generators. In pure sunlight, no shade. Actually, a beautiful day out here in the park. We're getting 130. It's bouncing around between 128 to 132, but we're sticking around 130. So now that we have a broad daylight test of the Bougie Yuma 200 watt panel, let's compare it to another 200 watt panel. Here, I have Geniverse's all weather 200 watt panel, and we're gonna set it up with another generator just to compare. Here, we're using the Home Power 2 Pro with the Solar Power 2 Pro panel that comes included. So they're made to work together, so it gives us a really good test. So we let them run for a little bit just to make sure there wasn't any like initial voltage issues or anything like that. Our Yuma 200 watt panel is on the right and that's reading pretty consistent at around 104 watts. And then our Genever Solar Power 2 Pro panel is on the left and that's reading around 94 watts. So the Bouge RV is taking the edge on this one, but just by a little bit. We test a lot of these panels and I gotta say, not for nothing, the Bouge RV Yuma 200 is definitely the most lightweight and easiest to set up. Just picking up one of the other devices that we have, it really takes a lot on you. But this guy is super nice, lightweight, and I hear that it's so durable that you could shoot it with a gun. I'm not gonna do that, but it does say it performs extremely well that you can dance on it or step on it. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna walk all over this thing, we'll get some nice dirt on it, and then we'll take another reading just to see how it compares. All right, so I'm gonna step all over them, which feels weird. You don't wanna do this with a device like this, but I did get my shoes nice and dirty. You know, I don't know a real world application for stepping all over your panel, but we're gonna drag it out, see what happens. All right, so all that jumping on the panel, not only does it still work, but it's reading pretty well. It's bouncing between 112 to 115. Right now it's settling in, but really depends on what it's going. All that jumping around, not only didn't break it, but it still seems to be working at full capacity, which is really cool. And not that you're ever gonna actually be jumping up and down on your solar panel, but it's nice to know that it's not a super delicate product. So now that we've dirtied up our Bouge RV panel and we've run a lot of tests on it, taken some numbers, let's get back to the studio, check out the specs on it and talk about who it's for. So now that we're back in the studio and can talk about the specs, let's dive into that SIGS technology. SIGS stands for Copper Indium Gallium Selenide which is the semiconductor used in these panels. It's been around since the 1990s, and research on those materials for solar cells goes back all the way to the 1970s at Bell Labs right here in New Jersey. The maximum theoretical efficiency of SIGS technology is 23.5% which is less than silicon, but it's pretty close. In the lab, some cells have reached as high as 22% efficiency, but using those methods is still not commercially viable. So at around 16% efficiency, Bouge RV SIGS panel is basically as efficient as current products can possibly get. And because it uses the SIGS technology, the Yuma 200 watt only weighs seven pounds. That's right, seven pounds, which is less than half of foldable solar panels. Moving around outside during our test was really easy. I can't state enough how nice it was to have a super lightweight panel like this one. And despite being lightweight, it has that 200 watt max power. That's a super desirable output. It's $599 on Bouge's website and it's $609.99 on Amazon. 
at $2.99 a watt, it's on the higher end of the price market. Portable solar panels on the market range from about $2 to $3.15 a watt. Rigid solar panels from Bouge themselves are closer to $1 to $1.50. And with that price, you do get Bouge RV's well-known warranty. They're a company that's been around since 2017, offering everything you can imagine from coolers and roof racks to solar battery generators and other solar panels. So that 10-year warranty is something you can trust. Plus, if you order through Bouge's website, you get an additional two years for a total of 12 years total. So you're paying for that lightweight technology you get that they're using in here, which makes it so special. It's IP68 waterproof, and that means it's basically dust tight and can survive being submerged in fresh water to a maximum depth of one and a half meters for 30 minutes. The Yuma 200 we received includes strips of adhesive material along the back for attaching to a solid surface. This works fine for a car or boat and RV roof, but it's not ideal for your normal roof, like an asphalt or even pole mounting is not something I would do. It could possibly work well on a standing sea metal roof though. The company says that the adhesive can be easily removed by pulling a wire along the surfaces between the panel and the place it's installed. You can remove any leftover residue with pure ethanol, but none of that seems easy to me, so I would just end up sticking it somewhere you plan on keeping it. And it does produce a version of these panels with grommets, so you can tie it down if you don't want to use the adhesive. Again, if you're the kind of person that's going to move it around, I would go with the grommets. But who is it for? The Yuma 200 watt flexible SIG solar panel is admittedly just super cool. It isn't necessarily for everyone. It's a technological marvel, but it's also quite pricey. It's perfect for someone who wants that durable, flexible, lightweight, shade tolerant solar solution that has the seven feet that's needed for this panel. It's ideal for someone with a long roof, like a curved van or an RV. It's even better for people who want solar on their boat. I know, I know, that's probably a super small niche target, but if that's you, this is for you. The Yuma 200 is waterproof, and you can walk on it as much as you want without damaging the cells. We already showed you that. That means it can live on the deck of a boat where people need to step, where it's exposed to wet conditions all the time. And it has several advantages over traditional panels. It's super lightweight. It really is like the lightest thing we've ever had on our desk here. It looks really cool. It's excellent shade tolerance, means it's gonna produce way more power in shady situations than like a silicon solar panel would. The panel is super flexible and durable. Seriously, we really tried to beat this thing up and couldn't get going. That's thanks to the thin film technology it's built with. It's also super low profile. So if looks matter to you a lot, this thing is gonna be perfect. If you park your van or RV under a tree and have acorns, twigs, branches, walnuts, all that stuff, animals, this can withstand abuse better than any other solar panel we've tested. The main downfall is it's almost $600. It really is a premium product sitting in a premium market and it's pretty much only appealing to a premium customer. If you absolutely demand the most durable, flexible, lightweight, shade tolerant RV solar panel, the Yuma 200 is absolutely the one for you. If you can stomach a little less of those benefits with a much lower price tag, there are other options. But any way you slice it, the Yuma 200 is a marvel. Nothing beats it in its weight, its flexibility, its durability, its shade tolerance, its waterproofing. There's so many things that this is the best at. And if you need the best flexible solar panel on the market, buy one today. And if you can find one on sale, buy it that second, because those are hard to come by. And we test a lot of things here. That's all we have on the Yuma 200, but if you want to check out some of the other things we've tested, feel free to do so.